This year we're going to be predicting the last four weight classes starting at 182 pounds. So let's get right into the video. At 182 behind Nick Buzakis, Ron Rogers, second best uncommitted prospect in this field, uh, a clear favorite for this weekend. Defeated probable number two C Jake Evans in the Ironman finals last season in a close match, and then continued his success by winning a national prep title and making a powered final by defeating JT Davis 73. And there's a lot of future D1 talent who is going to be competing with Ryland Rogers in this bracket. Um, while Rogers is undecided, nine wrestlers have committed. Rocco Contini to Virginia, Brian Soldano to Rutgers, Jackson Smith to Maryland, Joey Milano to NC State, Hudson Hightower to Princeton, Adam Arenson and Jared Simon to UNI, Roman Rogotsky to SDSU, and then Isaiah Reinhardt to Bucknell. So a lot of D1 talent, um, future college wrestlers, but really, it's pretty easy to pick who's going to be the one winning this weight class. It's going to be Ryan Rogers. He has by far the biggest chance to win a title this weekend. Alright, at 195, Seth Shumay, number two man at this weight, and uh, his titles at Fargo and Ironman give him the strongest resume of anyone in the bracket. Clear favorite, but he has made it into the podium on the past two tries. Uh, his freshman year went three and two, and his sophomore year as well. But the Buckeye Bound Junior is too good to count out. But then there's also Brandon Hoselton, number five rank. Knows how to get it done at Super 32 as he was finalist at this weight a year ago. And he went through Indiana champ number seven, Evan Bates. Uh, Masters quick one, Hosel 10. Countered a base shot with a throw at the end with the first period fall. And both Indiana State champs are uncommitted seniors and fascinating prospects. They're going to commit like serious challenges to Shumate. And all these guys have seen action this fall. Shumate dropped a tough loss at who's number one. Holzleton went undefeated at 220 at the AWA duels and Bates finished second at the Indiana Matt Hoosier preseason open, dropping his finals match to number 18 Logan Shepard, who's going to be competing one weight class up. So, really in this weight class, Shoemate coming out after a loss, but I really think he can get it done in this weight. 25 major wrestlers, Xavier Dillon and Bennett Tabor, who had a wild match this offseason at Rocky Mountain Nationals. Dillon looked dominant against Tabor for two and a half periods running out to a 9-1 lead, but then Tabor almost mounted a comeback where he took Duan down and power halved into his back late in the third, where the match ended 9-6 with uh, Duan winning and setting the stage for an exciting potential rematch at who's number one. Uh, Tabor, the number four, 220 in the land, and an absolute monster. Uh, he's ranked 11th and uncommitted senior from Kansas City. Um, looking to spoil the Tabor Duan reunion will be number nine, Noah Pettigrew. Number 18, Logan Shepard, and Gage Cook, who's just outside the rankings. Pettigrew, the Blair Academy Jr., is committing to North Carolina and recently finished third in a tough field at the Grappler Fall Classic. Shepard, uncommitted junior from Nassau and Perry, Ohio, uh, product, had a productive offseason as well as a title at the Indiana Matt Hoosier preseason open. And then Gage Cook, an Army West Point commit, and a junior from Washington. So a bunch of pretty good wrestlers in this weight class, but really anyone could win. But if I had to pick... I would bet that there's going to be a rematch between Doolin and Tabor, and I have Doolin win this one. And at heavyweight, three major wrestlers here, Chase Horn, Hayden Kopass, and Keontae Hamilton. Uh, Georgia Hammer, Horn has made the most of his opportunities this year and wrestled at who's number one and left no doubt against Keontae Hamilton earlier this month to capture the nation's top spot. And not only will Horn be in Myrtle Beach looking to defend his ranking, but also try to capture the belt he missed out on last year when he fell in the finals to Wisconsin signee Braxton Amos at 220. Uh, Rutgers wrestling and football commit Keontae Hamilton had an incredible 2019 and 20 season, took a third at Ironman, winning BC the East and national prep titles. Uh, came into who's number one as the biggest favorites of the card, but was unable to defend its rankings. And if he wants another shot at Horn, he'll have to go through a dogfight in the semifinals against multiple time Fargo champion Hayden Kopass. Uh, Horn, who won the battle on the mat with Hamilton in a big way at who's number one, and Hamilton will have to make quick improvements on bottom if he wants to get revenge on Horn. Um, like Horn, Wisconsin commit Hayden Kopass came up short in last year's Super 32 Finals and will be looking to get a belt of his own while grabbing the nation's top spot. He's been dominating Olympic styles, winning back-to-back -back cadet freestyle titles in 2018 and 19, taking second Greco-Roman in 2019, but looking now to get a big-time folk style title. Uh, similar to Horn and Hamilton, he controlled the map battle with Kopass despite the size difference, uh, earning a reversal and riding Kopass for over three minutes. And the Illinois native will need to make some big adjustments if he wants to get his hand raised Sunday afternoon in the finals. So three major wrestlers in this weight class. Um, if I had to choose, I would definitely 
put Hamilton at number two. Uh, good guy, but I don't think he's going to be able to beat Hayden Kopass, Illinois. Great wrestler, and I have him winning the title this weekend. And yeah, that's basically going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, comment down below. It's self more as content like this. Peace.